I was trying on shorts today because it's going to be 90 degrees and I don't fit into any of my shorts. This is the only pair that I fit into. Um, and I was trying on all of my old shorts and I'm like, I can't believe I used to fit into these. Like, this doesn't even go up my thighs. I mean, this, this these look ridiculous on me. Um, can't even button them up. So, and these were even like, I considered these like my loose or like fat shorts. Can't even fit into them. All these little <sighs> gotta go shopping, <laughs> but this is awesome. I'm like really excited about it because it just shows how far I've come. And this, I mean, I fit into these like last summer probably. So Oh yeah, I'm vlogging today. Oh. Yes. Very well. Along the way. Yay. All right, we are going off to the gym. Um, you brought the phone, right? Yay. So I'm gonna try to film as much as I can. At the gym, I get a little nervous filming, so we'll see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'll have you guys on a stand, so, okay. And I have my protein smoothie right here. I talk about it a lot. Two and a half cups of almond cashew protein nut milk from Silk, and one scoop of the Live Well protein. All right, guys, let's get into the workout. So I typically warm up with a bit of cardio before I lift, and today I'm cycling for three miles with varying intensities and a few hill climbs. Um, if I was gonna go into a heavy leg day, I would typically warm up uh, on the stair stepper for about seven minutes, but today is more of a booty pulse, light leg day, so I opted for the cycle warm up. As you see here, I'm going into a hill climb. Um, I'll do this for about 0.2 miles, uh, and then I go back down to seated. I'm pretty new to cycling, so this is pretty intense for me still. Even just three miles uh, gets me really winded, and my muscles are completely warmed up by the end of this. start with some goblet squats with a 45 pound dumbbell and I do apologize for the bad angles and lighting with my workouts I don't think I should technically be filming in my gym but I do it for you guys anyway <laughs> um, so with the goblet squats I like to go past 90 degrees and take my time with this movement go very slowly and really feel it and I'm gonna do 10 reps of this In this next set, I'm going to be pulsing at the bottom of the squat, pulsing for two, and then coming back up. And I'm going to be doing eight of these. I actually miscounted. I think I just did seven in this clip. Um, so then after I do this set, then I go back to the slow and controlled goblet squat for 10 reps. And then I go back to this uh, type of set where I do the pulsing for eight reps. Then I moved on to stiff leg deadlifts. So I'm using the dumbbells here, 30 pound dumbbells in each hand. And again, this is a slow and controlled movement. Notice how I keep my back very flat and my shoulders I'm trying to keep back and down. You don't want to be hunching in this movement. 
And you can see I'm keeping the dumbbell in a straight line as I go down and come back up. Here's another angle of the stiff leg deadlift. So as you can see here, I'm gonna be actually pushing my butt back when I go down in the movement. This really helps to hit your hamstrings and your glutes. Fireflies, a million little pieces, feeds the dying light, and brings me back to life. In your eyes, I see something to believe. Next, I moved on to one of my favorite exercises for the side booty, and that is the adductor machine. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually forward on the seat, and I'm not really even sitting on it. I'm just slightly hovering over it. A lot of mind-to-muscle connection on this one. Um, just be very careful of your knees. When you're doing that movement, you don't want to go too far out. You want Then I go straight into the typical way that you would use this machine or see other people use this machine. And I do 12 reps of the first way and then 12 reps of this way. I, as you notice, I did lower the weight on this because as I'm sitting back, it puts more emphasis on the side leg than the side glutes and lower glutes. So I would consider that a full set. And then I will do four of these as I slowly increase my weight. this exercise I moved on to shoulders and I didn't end up filming my shoulders I really wanted to focus on them and I didn't want to be you know fussing about setting up the camera and upsetting people in the front of the weight room um, so I do apologize for that but I did film some of my ab circuit uh, which is right here so what I'm doing in this clip is that I am using a yoga ball and switching it between my uh, feet to my hands and then back and forth for 10 and uh, this personally works really well for me. It really challenges my abs and especially my lower abs. I supersetted the yoga ball movement with these side ab twists. And I don't use any weight uh, because I am a big believer that if you're using weight for your abs, you're gonna start to build up your core a lot more. And my focus more so is on strength, so increasing the strength of my abs and then just getting a nice tone. So I don't do too much abs. I try to rely on compound movements to um, help my abs as well. And then I throw in some of these uh, small ab, move, ab movements at the end of um, a workout once a week or so. Killed it at the gym. Yeah? <laughs> what did you say, Joe? Walked on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you running. Alright guys, so I ended up filming um, uh, all of my leg day workouts. Uh, this leg day was more uh, a light leg day, more pulse, uh, glute focused. And um, I also did shoulders. I didn't film my shoulder workout. Uh, my bad. <laughs> I get so nervous in the gym filming, but I got you guys to like working out, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we're gonna go get some Korean food now.
it now. <laughs> Hey, you up there? Hello. <laughs> hey guys, so I forgot to film the closing to my vlog because I'm the worst vlogger ever, <laughs> apparently. Uh, so I figured I would just make a quick clip now to put into the vlog. Uh, so I forgot to film that I ate an orange uh, at the end of the night and I had some a little bit of vegan cake that was left in the fridge. I got a problem with vegan cake. If it's around, I have to eat it. So there's no more left. I'm done with the vegan cake. Unless Joe buys some more to sabotage me again. Um, <laughs> but it was delicious. I really enjoyed it. And what's really nice about when I make these videos, it really forces me to see what I'm eating and evaluate it. So I don't typically focus too much on my calorie intake or my macro intake. Um, Especially when I'm cutting, I don't want to be too concerned with the numbers and getting, you know, all deep into the numbers and stressing about them. But it was really nice to see what I was doing because I found something that I was doing wrong, um, and that is I kept the protein nut milk in my diet, um, in my morning smoothie, which is great for bulking, but I didn't realize it had so much fat. So that's 20 extra grams of fat that I didn't really realize I was having. So now I know and I will be reserving that for bulking. And now that I'm cutting, maybe I'll just use some regular almond milk and the live well protein. What's great about the live well protein, it's very low in fat, it only has one gram of fat. So I might just be throwing two scoops of that into my smoothie instead of using the protein nut milk from Silk. Um, also what I noticed in this vlog is that I don't talk enough to the camera. Uh, I think I avoid it because I get really nervous to talk to, to the camera. I, get, I don't know why. Um, I have like 150 videos on YouTube and yet it's still terrifying to me. Um, but I really enjoyed you know, sitting on the ground talking to you guys about the shorts. Um, I would love to do more style videos of that. Maybe me sitting on the ground is me being super comfortable. I don't know. Um, but in my future vlogs, I'm going to be talking more, I guess you could say, <laughs> to the camera. Uh, checking in more is what I need to do because I forget I'm vlogging vlogging and next week I'm really excited about the video I will be put, putting up so stay tuned I try to put out a video every Wednesday and I have so many ideas for videos and I'm I might be doing a few more every week uh, but I definitely am trying to stick to the one video a week at least so stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in the next video bye